you know, it's certainly a tribute to the, the story of the Automost House and the forecastle that um, it wasn't destroyed by man. There was no human decision that we'll have to do something else with it, that it was built in place and stayed there until Mother Nature took it away. Mm. And now we continue to honor it with the stories. And certainly anybody having the opportunity to take a walk down that beach, and especially at this time of year. This is the time to do it. I mean, it's fun in the summer and go for a swim in a bathing suit and bare feet, but to go down now and really appreciate the serenity. And people talk about the Cape being crowded and there's lots of people and tourists and all that. I'll tell you, you can be alone at the forecastle just as best it was when he lived there. And uh, all it takes is just to just to walk down there and uh, sit, you know, take the book and sit down and read a few passages. It's, uh, it's uh, mystical. It's truly mystical. It's one of the one of the mystical places that I've been all over the world. I've been to beaches all over the world, and uh, it's truly one of the mystical places in the world. So you can see why Beston honored it with uh, with his book, and why it became a national literary landmark. And the National Park Service and the Audubon Society worked so hard to protect it. The great thing it was always used. So there were people always staying there. I had gone down there uh, about a month before the storm in uh, in early January. And, uh, you know, the building itself was in pretty good shape. It was in pretty good shape. It had been used all that fall. People had stayed there because through the Audubon Society, you could, you know, rent out. You could stay in it overnight for a couple of days or a week. And so Mass Audubon members could, you know, essentially camp out there. And uh, I went all through it taking pictures just before it, uh, it washed away. And, and uh, you know, the pump inside. And it was just, it was, it, was, it was as it should be. Very similar to the dunes, dune shacks. Mm. And the real need that we have to continue to make sure the Park Service protects those dune shacks because they are mystical and when people talk about writers and poets and painters you know, being inspired by them, well we have our own place at, at Nasa Beach. So.